Hey everyone, it's Jacob here. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is this idea of a servant mindset. And it's something I talk about in my new book, The Future Leader. And although a lot of people are familiar with this idea of servant leadership, having a servant mindset actually includes four groups. It means that you understand you serve your leaders if you have them, you serve your customers, you serve your team, but you also have to serve yourself. And especially during a time of crisis, this is a very important mindset to have because it's very tempting for us to look at all the negative things that are going on in the world, to panic, to freak out. But I really want to encourage you to also make sure that you are taking time to serve yourself, taking care of yourself. If you ever have been on an airplane, you'll know that um, during the safety briefing, they always say, put your oxygen mask on yourself before you try to help others. And that's because you can't help others if you are incapacitated. So you need to do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, so that you, especially if you're a leader, can take care of those who you serve. But this is also true in our personal lives, right? Because, you know, I'm cooped up at home just like everybody else. I have my wife, uh, my pregnant wife, who's due in, in two months. I have our three-year-old here. I have our two dogs. You know, I see friends and uh, family uh, periodically, whether it's through technology or whether it's seeing them walking around. And if I'm constantly angry and frustrated and upset, it, it doesn't bode well for my wife. It doesn't bode well for my three-year-old who doesn't even know what's going on. So it's really important for us, especially during times of crisis, to make sure that we are not forgetting to take care of ourselves. For me, that means exercising every day. It means eating healthy every day. It means spending time doing things that I like every day, like chess puzzles. I still do chess lessons every day. or well, not every day, but every every week. And that's because I know that if I stop doing these things, I'm going to become miserable. I'm going to become angry and frustrated. So I still need to do the things that I need to do to look after myself. My wife does the same. She still exercises every day. She meditates every day. She takes time out for herself every day. And we can't just focus on the negative and the panic and the freaking out. Uh, so that's why I wanted to do this video is just to remind you that you still need to take care of yourself. Even if you need to spend a little bit of money to do it, whatever it is, uh, whether you're talking to a therapist, uh, whether you are uh, spending money on chess lessons, whatever you need to do, if you can still do it, I highly encourage you to make sure that you continue to do it because once you start taking those things away, I think the impacts are going to be far more um, negative than they need to be. So take care of yourself and leave a comment and let me know what are you doing to make sure that you're taking care of yourself? How are you practicing self-care, especially during this time of crisis, so that you can make sure that you show up every day for your family, your friends, and for your team? Leave me a comment below and let me know how you are practicing self-care. And I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever in the world you are.